What up, YouTube? What is going on? And welcome back to Dante's Rants Room, where we talk a lot about controversial topics and censorship in anime, manga, and gaming. And I am your host, Dante, and we are back with another video. And as always, I appreciate y'all for tuning in yet again because your support keeps me and this channel going. So thank you once again for tuning in yet again. Again. And obviously, still very sick, so please excuse my voice and the sniffling. <laughs> okay, my apologies in advance, but this article was just too good, and we must discuss this. We must share this, all right? So, this article from Bonding into Comics says No game, no life creator fires back after Western reader criticizes series' lack of dark skin characters. Yeah. <laughs> this is a thing and full transparency here i have neither read the manga nor watched the anime but i've heard awesome things about the anime so i am kind of surprised that this is happening now no <laughs> no i'm not surprised whatsoever not at all surprised i'm sure you guys are not surprised at all either um it goes on to say, hot off the heels of Final Fantasy 16 director Yoshi facing criticism for his upcoming game's lack of medieval European diversity. No game, no life creator Yu Kamiya has found himself in a similar situation and like the esteemed Square Enix producer, he is not backing down from his creative decisions and honestly, he shouldn't have to. I know, it might be an unpopular just, uh, opinion or whatever the case may be, but I don't think he should have to back down from his creative choices. Because, let's just say for example, if it was a, I don't know, an African writer, and he wrote about mostly African characters and African stories, African comic books and whatever, and so you would assume that maybe most of his characters in the book would be, you know, African, black, black to be, let's just say black. Um, now let's say his books became extremely popular here in the West. And now we have white people saying, how oh, dare you, we want some more diversity and representation. I'm sure people here in the West would immediately <laughs> be like, nah. You can't tell Africans what to do with their stories. Well, what's the difference between Africans and the Japanese or whatever, right? They can write whatever they want. Now, obviously, I am not, I, I fully support that if you are going to have some kind of representation, you should at least do it right <laughs> and respectful to people and whatever. But if they decide to not have representation, then it is what it is. Before I continue, please make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content like this in order to get culture. We talk a lot about controversial topics and censorship in anime, manga, and gaming. So please make sure you do subscribe and hit that red bell. Drop a like or a dislike if you enjoy or you don't enjoy my videos. Drop a comment to engage in conversation and share this video if you like it and follow me on Twitter. So, let's continue the article. Now, we're going to skip all this fluff and go right to the good parts, right? So, it says right here, um, on March 2nd, Kamiya took to Twitter to reveal that they had recently received a scolding DM from a foreign reader who said there were brown-skinned people in medieval and early modern Europe why don't they appear in your work? I gotta say, um, you've gotta have some balls to do stuff like that. Like, I, I would, I would never. <laughs> I'm like, hey, um, whoever the writer of, let's say, um, I don't know, pick your favorite manga or anime. Why aren't there more people like me in your book? I, I, I could never do that. Never. But it's 2023 and people are not afraid to tweet their feelings because, you know, you can't get punched in the face. 
<laughs> off of Twitter. So yeah, I'm being straight up. People say this stuff behind the screen because most likely they won't say it in person. I'm just calling it for what it is. So anyway, let's continue. So he responds by saying, uh, I received a DM from a foreign reader scolding me saying there were people with dark skin in medieval and early modern Europe. Why is it not in your work? First of all, this board is not in Europe. Were there fury ears or elves in Middle Europe? Obviously not. <laughs> Obviously not. Also, there are usually brown skinned characters. Oh boy. So that's the tweet. What do y'all think? Would y'all do stuff like that? I mean, I hope to God that wouldn't do something this cringe to a writer. Please, please don't do stuff like this. It's just, just it's pathetic. I'm sorry. It's pathetic. It's just don't do stuff like this. Um, responding directly to his accusation, the Brazilian Japanese creator declared, first of all, we read this part already. So I had no idea they were Brazilian and Japanese. That is quite the combo. But it goes on to say, it should be noted that one of the 16 different sentient races who have a seat at the table of disport politics are the dwarves, all of whom are noticeably more tan than their peers. Yeah, so I guess that's the character right here. Can you guys see that? Let's see if I can put that right here. So yeah, obviously very much brown. <laughs> um, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> no comment there. Um, goes on to say, ultimately, the entire interaction left Kamiya wondering if they would have a better understanding of the fans' mentality if, instead of leaving for Japan with his parents at the age of seven, he had lived out his life in the United States. They did you a favor. <laughs> I'm not saying, listen, I don't know much about Japan. Um, I'm sure it has their own fair share of issues, but it ain't no better here. From a culture standpoint, I think it might be a little better over there in Japan, but um, I don't know. What do you got thoughts about that? Respectfully, drop it down below in the comment section. But he goes on to say, I wonder if I could understand the worth of this area and my values if they were still on the western side i wonder if i don't understand because i've become so close to japanese well you are brazilian japanese so obviously you feel more of a connection to your brazilian and japanese heritage not rocket science guys <laughs> it's not rocket science you shouldn't have to be guilt tripped into creating characters for diversity unless you want to okay and if you're gonna do it if you're going to create diverse characters, please, for the love of God, do it right. <laughs> Just do it right if you ever plan on doing it. However, I don't believe in guilt tripping writers into creating uh, forced diversity because it just doesn't sit right to me in my soul. As someone who wants to be a writer one day, it doesn't sit right with me. But anyway, that's just me. I think that was a decent response. At least the first one was a decent response, in my opinion. But what do y'all think? Drop it down below in the comment section. All right. Looking forward to reading your comments. And if you are not subscribed, make sure you do consider hitting the red subscribe button for more content like this in nerdy geek culture, anime, manga, and gaming. Looking forward to reading your comments. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Let's get to 2K subscribers. And yeah. Peace.